Hello and welcome to Izzy B Crafts. Today I will be painting this kind of briefcase thing. And I am using different brands of fabric paint and doing a mixture of matte fabric paint and a puffy paint and using these to color my fabric paints. I'm going to start off by painting the zipper outline white. So I'm painting the dots pastel rainbow. Normally with rainbow you'd start with red. Since I'm doing pastel, I'm starting with pink and adding white to the rest of my colors. So it also had this um, like strip in between the handle ends and I painted that rainbow and just blended the colors together. So um, I do want to say that last week I didn't post. Um, my, I'm going to have a new filming schedule. I'm going to post every two weeks instead of every week. Then I'm just using black puffy paint to do some touch-ups around the zipper. And starting to paint the other side. Now on this side, I thought that it would be easier to do a white base coat on all the dots and then do my rainbow. And I do want to mention that I'm not painting all of the dots rainbow. I'm also leaving some white. Then I'm just taking the plain matte fabric paint and doing touch-ups on the zipper. And taking black fabric paint and touching up around the circles. Once I did that, now I'm just going back in with color and touching up inside of the circles where black paint got inside to make it look neater. Then I'm taking that same black paint and touching up the handle. Now I'm just taking a Kleenex and wetting it down with water. And using it to clean up all the plastic parts inside of the briefcase. Once I did the outside, I had to do the inside as well because the inside was also quite dirty. Now I'm going to be making each keychain. You're going to need some cord, little clamps. Wire cutters, beads of your choice, uh, this keychain clip, some uh, jewelry wire, and these little rings. I'm starting off by cutting a length of wire with some scissors.
and just tying a knot on one end so that when I thread the beads on, they won't fall through. Now I am picking out beads. As you can see, I picked out two purple beads, but later on I end up changing it to just one purple bead. So you just thread the beads onto your cord in any pattern that you want. You can also just thread it on randomly as well. And I made that purple bead that I have there, the statement bead I guess as you could say. So it's the only purple bead. Once I finish that, then you have to tie a knot on the other end so that the beads don't fall off. Then I am taking one of those rings. And threading that through. and tie it in place. Once I did that, then I took some of the jewelry wire and I cut some to size already. And just securing the end of the cord to the other cord, piece of cord. And just keep twisting it around until most of your wire is used up because it needs to be really secure. After I did that, I just took the wire cutters and cut off the excess wire. and use these scissors to cut off the excess cord. Then I used the pliers and I just pinched the wire down so that it would be even more secure on the cord. After I did that, I just put the keychain on the keychain clip. You can make as many as you want. But I just made three. The purple one, a pink one, and a teal one.
So this is the Anna briefcase. Sorry about the photo. I took it at night, but I did try to adjust it. And I made this so that I could take it with me for, say, to my grandma's house. And so I had a hard time putting things in there because I was filming with one hand trying to put stuff in the other hand. But I made this so that I could take art things like coloring or drawing things to, for say, again, my grandma's house or friend's house or other family's house. You can also take it with you out camping as well or to school. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like, and comment.